Like Senator Crowell, I too want to raise the issue of the spinal muscular uh, atrophy type 2. Uh, and I met with the families over there in the AV room. Uh, you'll know that this is a degenerative disease, a spinal muscular atrophy. Uh, it's a number one genetic cause of death for infants and it causes deterioration in muscle tone and strength, usually ending in premature death. But there has been a breakthrough with the new drug uh, Spinraza and that dramatically decreases the loss of the motor neuron function for the patients with SMA. It's the first drug to be approved uh, for treating the, the disorder. And in May 2017, the European Medicines Agency granted market authorization for this drug. And in October 2017, the HSE received a reimbursement application. There is, there, there is therefore great disappointment amongst the SMA community when in December 2017, the National Centre for Pharma Economics completed a health, health technology assessment of Sp Spinraza and did not recommend the reimbursement at the price uh, submitted. The assessment was considered by the HSE Drugs Group in May 2018 and no decision has yet been arrived at. And I would ask the Leader of the House to bring um, our concerns about that to the Minister for Health and to ask him to speed up the process because unfortunately um, a lot of the people affected by this don't have the luxury of time and indeed it is a travesty and contradicts the scientific evidence of the merits of the drug that it hasn't been approved for reimbursement. It has been approved in 19 other countries. You know, this happens so, so many times in these drugs for rare diseases. Just because people are living in this country, they have the same rights. These children that we met over there in the A room have the same rights as, uh, as children in other countries and they deserve to get the drug as well. Um, and it's not down to an issue of cost because surely to God, if we can give charitable status to foreign vulture funds who make billions out of this country, surely we can make these drugs available um, to a small number of children and people affected. Thank you, Cahill.